In closely guarded Oak Ridge laboratory, American scientists work out the blueprints on a terrifying weapon a thousand times more powerful than the now outdated atom bomb. Russia too is known to have reached the experimental stage. Stunned by what Professor Einstein has called this hysterical arms race, public opinion now inclines to the belief that it is better to reach agreement on two worlds, as exists today, than to have no world at all. Backing for this viewpoint comes from David Lilienthal, who in Washington hands in his identification badge as America's atom chief and says farewell to public service. The brain behind the Tennessee Valley irrigation scheme and more recently atomic energy control, Lilienthal, who has spent 20 years in government service, says... The last four years, I've been living with the atom, day and night. As I leave to become a private citizen, I'm glad of this chance to share with the people of the United States my great sense of confidence in the future. If we are not timid, if we keep our shirts on, if we do not yield to hysteria and jitters, I believe that we stand at the beginning of one of the greatest periods in all human history. A start in that direction has already been made in Britain at Birmingham University, birthplace of the magnetron, keystone to radar, and training ground for atomic scientists. Here in the Nuffield laboratories, a gigantic synchrotron, the largest in the world, is nearing completion. In it, atomic particles will travel at speeds of 150,000 miles a second. It will open up a new field in nuclear research. It will bring an unprecedented boon to medical science. Experiments at Birmingham will, it is hoped, lead to mass production of radioactive substances to replace costly radium as the most likely cure for cancer. This then is the noble aim of experiments at Birmingham and five other atomic energy plants throughout Britain. On the other hand, however, the hydrogen bomb cannot and will not have any constructive purpose for mankind. That viewpoint is expressed by Professor Piles, leading atomic expert and president of the British Atomic Scientists Association. After we've heard all about the atom bomb, the hydrogen bomb adds a new grim touch to the art of destruction. Grim for the people threatened with it in the next war, and worse still for the conscience of those people who will share the responsibility of using it in the next war, if it ever comes. If the terrifying power of these new weapons should bring nations to get together and eliminate warfare, they would have served a good purpose after all. <laughs>